Hey what is up guys, welcome back to another Minecraft RTX video. Today we're going to check out another Minecraft RTX shader texture pack and this one is called Dewey's RTX HD shader pack. It's made by Dewey, he's also made the uh, Smoolistic RTX shader pack and I have done a video on that if you guys haven't already checked it out. Do make sure to go to the playlist section and check out the review of that shader pack. Do make sure to hit that subscribe button guys and you will be kept up to date with any RTX related video that I post on here. You can also go to the playlist section and where it says Minecraft Bedrock Windows 10. If you click on view full playlist you'll see all the other Minecraft RTX videos that I have created recently. And do check this section out, there's a few RTX shader packs here that are really cool and are worth checking out definitely. Alright so in this video I'm going to show you how to download this RTX shader pack for Minecraft Windows 10 and how to install it and also how to enable and get RTX on your Minecraft Windows 10 game and how to enable the ray tracing slider in the video options. Alright so when you go into settings and if you scroll down to video the default game normally has the ray tracing and upscaling options disabled and the only way to enable that is to download one of the RTX created worlds from the marketplace which has been created by Nvidia and then you can enable that slider but using an RTX shader pack you can do it for all your worlds basically and you should be able to create your own survival world with the ray tracing turned on. Alright so I'm just going to quickly show you a bit of gameplay from this Dewey's RTX HD pack and then I'm going to show you how to download it and install it for Minecraft Windows 10. Alright so as you can see it does look different to the normal game. We have a look at the blocks over here they're different to what you would expect. I do like the, uh, the textures on this one so have a look at the pool there. I really do like the sun in this one. It's nice and round and the reflection in the water is also round so it's quite cool. Some of the other shader packs I have noticed that the sun has been round at the top there but in the water reflection it's either square or you're seeing some other kind of reflections there but this one is really cool as well. We have a look there. Go inside the pool. You'll see the, uh, the water graphics on the wall over there. It's quite cool. You'll see the rays coming in there. Let's just turn it to night time quickly. And you can see the reflection from the lower glows there on the top there in the water. Then you can see the uh, it's a half moon there, but you can see the half moon reflection on, on the tiles over here, as you can see there. Alright, let's just set that to day again. Alright, so that is the lava as you can see. We do have the glass block here with the reflections. Now, to create a mirror in the Dewey's RTX pack you do have to use the honeycomb block basically which will create a mirror as you can see here. If you use the default glass you won't see the reflections that you would normally expect. You just see through the glass so this normal glass is probably good for making windows but if you do want to make a mirror then you have to use the honeycomb block as you can see there. If I press F5 see my character's reflection on this as well it's quite cool there I also like the terracotta blocks here as you can see they've got some nice marble effects going on so you could probably use these for interiors if you want to make a house look really cool look really expensive and also the gold looks amazing in this as well. I do like this. You can see the reflection there of the sun. I 
these are some of the other metals there, the blocks. Alright, let me just set it to night time. So we do have the glowing ores as well, as you can see here. Obviously, this is using an add-on for these. So let me just quickly show you if I go to settings, global resources. So we do have the default base pack, and then we've got the glowing realistic ore pack there, and the decorative tile set as well. So this tile set is what allows us to have the the terracotta blocks basically that show up as marble, things like that. And then the glowing ores is what you're seeing right now. Right, let me just set it to day again. As you can see, there's a mirror there which I've created before. So you can see a reflection of, of my character there. And you can see the reflection of the armor stand as well. As you can see, in the corner there. And similar to Minecraft RTX, you can see the sun's rays coming in through there. I also do like the brickwork that they've used in this. It looks quite realistic as well. All right, let's change that to sunset. So yeah, if you can see on the left hand side there, we do have the rays coming in and obviously the sun has moved location, but through that colored glass, it's bouncing on the wall there. And it's also coloring the block, which is in my hand as well. You see if I get into frame there, quite a cool effect. In terms of the wood, they also have wood reflections in this, so you can see there we do have the reflective wood there. Obviously can be used for flooring and other things. And then obviously we've got the clear water. Let's have a look at some more water here. And as I mentioned before, the sun's rays, the sun's reflection on the water there is rounded. So that's another cool thing. And if we look at the grass, I think the grass looks quite cool as well. It looks quite nice. It's interesting. You can see the uh, individual grass strands there. I do like that effect. We go and let's turn it into survival mode. As you can see there got the wood effect as well going on it's quite cool all right so now I'm going to show you guys how to go ahead and install this download it and then install it for your Minecraft Windows 10 game obviously do bear in mind that you do require an RTX compatible graphics card so if your graphics card can output RTX and ray tracing then you should have no problems running this so I do recommend an RTX 2060 or higher for this and then you obviously need the full version of Minecraft for Windows 10 and a Minecraft Windows 10 account as well all right so to get that Dewey's RTX pack installed the first thing you need to do is if you open up your internet browser and just start typing in Dewey RTX and if you look for the link, which is mcpedl.com, it's normally that link which has the updated version. So if we click on this, it should take you to the mcpedl.com website. And as you can see, it says here, Dewey RTX HD. And you can read up about this and look at the screenshots. And if we just scroll down, And if we just start downloading these, basically, so if you click on Dewey RTX HD version 5.2, it's going to take you to a Mediafire page. 
and I am going to leave links in the description so you guys don't have to look for these. You can go ahead and download the extra add-ons as well, like the decorative tiles. Let's start downloading that. All right, and let's download the realistic ore pack as well. All right, now let's wait for these to finish downloading. All right, so once you finish downloading all those three files, I have placed them on my desktop, as you can see here, and it's really easy to install them. All you need to do is just double click on them, and what will happen is it will start importing the files into your Minecraft for Windows 10 game, and then it should give you a message saying successfully imported. All right, so let's go ahead and install the base pack first of all. So as you can see, it's an MC pack file. Let's open that. And as you can see, the game is now loading up. And you should see a message on the top there that says import. As you can see, and then it will say successfully imported. All right, so once it's done that, if you are installing other files, just quit out of the game and then do the same for the other files. All right, so that's the last file and it has successfully imported that one as well. So once you've done that, if you go to settings, if you go to your video options, scroll down. As you can see, ray tracing and upscaling, you can't tick these. And if you hover over the information tab here, it does say this option can only be edited while playing in a ray tracing capable world. So we are actually gonna override that option by installing the shader pack. So if we go to global resources now, look for Dewey's RTX pack in the My Pack section. As you can see, the active section is only showing the default Minecraft texture pack. So let's go to My Packs. And these are the RTX packs for Dewey that I've just downloaded. And if I start by activating the base pack, first of all, and then the decorative tiles, and then the realistic ore as well. Let's minimize that. Let's expand active. And what you need to do is you need to make sure that Dewey's RTX is at the bottom and the other add-ons on the top. And if for some reason Dewey RTX base pack is showing somewhere in the middle, you can click on it and click this arrow here and make sure it's right at the very bottom there. And then all the other add-ons on the top here. And that's it, it's as simple as that. That's how you download, install and activate these RTX packs. If you do want to uninstall it and delete it from your game completely, you can't do it from this section. You have to go to storage on the left here, click on resource packs, and then if you click on Dewey RTX, for example, you can click on this bin icon and it should get rid of it completely from your game. All right, let's go back. All right, so now we are going to create a new world. I'm going to go for survival and I'm going to go for normal difficulty as a default, and we're going to click on create. All right, there we go, we are in the game. You can tell by the grainy effect and the sun's rays there, the rounded sun, that the pack has been enabled and the shadows there as well. You can see that the pack has been enabled and we are now playing a survival world with Dewey's RTX. And if we go to options again, video, you can see that the ray tracing slider is enabled there. So we've basically overridden the basic options for ray tracing. You can play around with this as well, depending on your graphics card. I like to set mine on 12 chunks. So if, you have, if you've got a powerful graphics card that can output ray tracing with no problems, you can go ahead and set that to 24 chunks. All right, so as you can see, we're now in survival world. And this is how easy it is to enable RTX in Minecraft Windows 10. And you can play around with different shaders and different add-ons as well. Hopefully you guys have found this video useful. If you have, please do give us a like, 
and if you do have any queries or questions please do leave them in the comment section below please do subscribe to this channel to help support it help it grow and i'll see you guys next time thank you for watching